Hey folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Tableau MCP and get it working with Claude Desktop so you can do have this kind of chat experience with data sources on your Tableau server or Tableau cloud environment. With Tableau MCP you can use any AI model, so you can use ChatGPT, you could use Claude, you could use Gemini. Here I'm going with, with Claude, it comes with Claude Desktop. I just find it a very nice experience for understanding how MCP is working. It gives you a good readout in terms of how the AI model is handling it, the steps it's going through to answer your query. You can even see here the tool calls of what's going on and the details of what's in there as, as well. So it gives you a lot of feedback in terms of how it's working. I have used other AI models in the past for MCP and sometimes they actually struggle to use the MCP tools correctly or even just call them. What I found here is Claude, the Solid 4 model is very good. It has a large context window. I think it's up to a million tokens now. Very good at handling the tools and I find it's just a great place to get started with understanding how Tableau MCP can work. So for this to work you'll need access to a Tableau server that is version 25.1 or later or access to a Tableau cloud environment. If you don't have either of those, you can get a Tableau cloud environment via the Tableau developers program. You'll get a free sandbox, I think, for a couple of weeks, which will give you enough time to test and experiment with Tableau MCP. I'm here on the official Tableau MCP repo. I'm going to talk you through what this is, what it does, and how it will work with your Tableau environment. So the way at Tableau MCP works, you can think of it as a set of tools that will help an AI model interact with the content you have on a Tableau server or Tableau cloud environment. For example, you go to your Tableau environment and go and list all the data sources it has access to. It can then go and take a data source, find out what the column names are or any descriptions available to them, and then go and query that data source. And if you're on Tableau cloud, you get a lot more tools related to Tableau Pulse as well. If you want to learn a bit more about what some of these tools do. The whole project is open source. All the code is here for you to go and look at. So if I wanted to understand what list fields actually does, I can come up to the code. In source, you'll have a folder called tools. And here you'll have various folders for different tools. So list data sources, query data source, the pulse ones are all there. But down here, I've got list fields. Uh, so I'm going to pick list fields and not the test. Now the, these tools are written in TypeScript, in formal JavaScript, not the easiest language to understand, but if you know some of the Tableau APIs, you can recognize what the tool is doing. So here I can see it's using the metadata API, it's calling the GraphQL service you have on your Tableau server or cloud, and you can see the query here. Uh, so I can see for every published data source, for specific data source identifier, the Luid, I will get together a list of the metadata here in terms of who owns it, those fields, those column names, the descriptions for them. So this gives me ideas of if I wanted to improve how this tool works in terms of finding the right columns, maybe I would go and add some more descriptions or better descriptions to this data source. Okay, so I'm going to go and download this code. I come to the green code button. I can open it with GitHub Desktop if that's installed, or I can just download the zip file and extract that somewhere on my machine. Okay, so I've got that code downloaded. I've saved it in my folder GitHub and had it extracted here. So all that code is now on my local machine. Okay, so the next step you're going to want to do is download Claude Desktop. This gives you then an application on your machine where you can go and chat to some of the anthropic models like Claude Sonnet. So if you've got Claude running, all we need to do now is go and install the Tableau MCP. For this step, you're going to want to open a terminal window or something like PowerShell where you can run command line code. First thing to do is to check that we've got Node.js installed. Node.js comes with Claude Desktop. Hopefully it should be installed, but you can check by using this function to check the version. Okay, so I can see that I've got a recent version. I know that's all installed and that's working. Okay, for whatever reason Node.js hasn't installed, you can come here to the download page on the Node.js site, uh, follow the installation instructions there, and then verify you've got Node.js by running that node 
version command. Next, you're going to want to go and navigate to the location where you have Tableau MCP downloaded to and extracted to. So I'm going to go and just take this file path. I'm going to go CD for change directory, and I'm going to right click on my mouse to just paste the location in there. If I hit enter, and you can see that that path is updated for the folder I'm in here where my Tableau MCP is held. Okay, for this, so we've done the step of cloning the repository. We've checked on the Node.js. We just need to run npm install and then npm run build. So I'm going to run npm install. Okay, so that has run. So it's installed the packages. It also does some audits of the packages and found some low running vulnerabilities. These are quite easy to fix using the npm audit fix. So you can just run this command. And lastly, we're going to execute npm run build. Now we just need to go and give Claw Desktop access to where that MCP server is being held on our local machine. So if you go to where you've installed and unpackaged Tableau MCP, you should find a config stdio.json. You open up that file. So this is effectively configurations that you need to set to go and point Claw Desktop at your Tableau server. So the important credentials to update here is the argument. So you give it this local path roots up here. Uh, obviously your average Tableau server, the site name, uh, the personal access token as well. So you have two options at the bottom here for include and exclude tools. What these do is just help you restrict what kind of access to tools that the MCP server ha has. This can help with elements of security as well as just creating a better end experience for using the using MCP. But okay, how, so how do you get all these details? So first, you're gonna need to know the Tableau server or Tableau cloud environment. This is going to be this URL up here. So I'm gonna take Tableau server right up to like HTTPS all the way to .co.uk or .com. And in the site name, so it's not the display name that you get over here. It is this site name from the URL to create that personal access token, come up to here, to in the top right, to your account. Go to My Account Settings. You can scroll down here to Personal Access Tokens. You will give your token a name, so I can call this MCP Demo. This so I'm then going to go and create a token. And so I'm going to need to record the token name and the secret as well. Now, if you don't want to give your MCP access to everything, you would come over to Users. You would create a new user here assign it to a particular group that could only access certain content and then you would log in with that user and then recreate the steps of creating the personal access token. Okay, so I've gone through and done all the steps. So I've added the arguments. I've done that full path. I've changed the slashes around. So they're forward slashes. So I just changed those all to forward slashes. So those are all consistent. So it's the folder path to your MCP folder then going into build and going into in index.js. Then I've updated the server for that server URL, going from HTTPS to .co.uk. Um, server name as from the URL, then my PAT token name and PAT token value. So to get Claude to be able to connect to our Tableau server or cloud environment, we're gonna need to edit the config file for Claude. To do this, go up to the top left, go to file, to settings, scroll down to developer. Here you'll have edit config for your local MCP servers. Hit that. This will open up where Claude desktop has been installed. You will see this JSON file has been highlighted. What we're going to do is going to open that file and going to copy across the details of our Tableau MCP to this JSON file. Okay, so I'm in Claude Desktop's config. If you ha if this file is empty for you, you can go and just copy and paste what we've done before and put it in here. Otherwise, you can come and I've lowered down the other MCP servers I have on here, and I'm just going to copy in the Tableau one here. It's going to go with my config. I can copy this, making sure I get the right brackets. Factory, these are color coordinated. I can copy that, and then new line, paste that in there. 
I'm going to need to go and add a comma because I have other MCPs. If you just have this one, no need. And that should be good. So if you have Claude open, what you're going to need to do is close down Claude desktop, which requires closing the application and then also closing it. So close the application and then we'll also close it from this little menu down here. So there's be a little Claude logo, this sort of hidden icons, meaning it's still running. What we need to do is go and quit out of that. And now I just got to load up Claude again. Okay, so I'm back in Claude. You, if you get any errors, come up here about MCP. That means there's something off with the configuration. It could be that folder path to double check. It could just be that the server URLs. Just check all those details again, just to make sure those look correct. Uh, but if all is working okay, you can always come and check under File under Settings. Go down to Developer. I can see the list of my MCP servers. I can also see this tablet one is running. That's good to hear. So back in Claude, you will get this little option for the search and tools. So this will give you a window into all your MCP. So obviously I have other things installed. There are other features you have for like web search here, but there is the tablet MCP. Uh, I can then click in to see the different tools it has access to. So list air source, list fields, uh, all those pulse metrics I've turned off for now, I don't need them on, I'm on a server. And then these new ones that have come in about get workbook and get views. Uh, but you can start by asking it quite simple questions. Usually you start a question is asking well, what data sources it has access to. You can see here it's having this kind of thought come back as it's doing it. You can also see here this tool call has been made. So you can see here the actual tool call that's gone off in terms of finding the data sources. So this is the run that tool, got the response back about the data sets, and then it's going to share them here, a little description of what they're about. This is where you can now just have a chat with it on any data source. So I could go over to my superstores and ask it quite like an open-ended question. I've said that we're falling behind in performance. I'm in this particular region. What lessons can we learn? And you can see the steps it's going through. So I haven't given it like, give me some of sales. I've asked it quite an open-ended question. You see, it's gone gone to that data source, gone found all the columns there. Okay, so Claude is finished. As you can see, it's doing the Gen AI thing where it gives you quite a lot of information coming back, a lot of text to get and go and read. And some of this, maybe it's a bit too much. You can always edit those things in like the settings to give it a more concise uh, feedback. Um, but it's coming back and answer the question was actually saying it's not all that bad. Profit margin is good. Sales are good. Profit is good. Uh, but this is where we need to go and resolve things in terms of discounting in the furniture category issues. So it's giving me some nice directions. I haven't even looked through the data source. So it's gone and done all that initial like exploratory analysis for me and given me some next steps of where to go. Now out the box, currently it doesn't support doing charts. However, it's clawed so it can go and make a dashboard for you. And we can just have a quick show of like that. Okay, so I've got my dashboard. So it is version three. This did break twice to get this to work. We do have a chart, a nice interactive chart as well. Uh, so you can make these things. Again, all these numbers are going to be hard coded into the actual, like uh, the HTML is going to be written here. So not quite there, but if you want to see something visual, uh, you can do that here. I hope you found this useful as getting started with connecting your Tableau environment to Claw desktop. If you've got any questions, leave those in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.